I don't know what to do. I'm gonna beat the ass and then I'm gonna go to jail and then what? You said it's an accident, but he just stuck my door. Do y'all got insurance information? Cause I'm gonna I'm have to. I'm not gonna give you my information. You not giving me no, your insurance? Because that's not my car. Well, you know who car it is? My husband's. Okay. Do they have insurance? Okay. I'm not gonna tell you if he has insurance. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. Y'all did that, so you're tagging them right here. I just seen your son do that. You stuck the dope. Man. I can see if there was no. Can't, you can't give my tag number. Oh, I can take your tag. No, number. you cannot. Yes, I can. No, you cannot. Yes, I can. Oh yeah, we. Sh you know we gotta see part two, man. Hey, if you're still here, go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get right into part two. Phone out my hand. So at that point, that's a problem. So we got this. I got this on video. Her daughter, whoever it is, she's saying that I didn't. But I got it on video, so they on the way. And I'm going to let y'all know how this pan out. Just stop. Let him, let him say whatever he wants. Why are you just, just giving the insurance information? Whatever I want on video. I was videoing you. It's my kids. I was videoing you. Do you know how stressful it is to have four kids? I got, um, do you know I'm a single parent? A single I'm a dad? Single I'm a single dad. And I am too. Okay. So I know I just Wait, lost wait, my wait, wait. I understand that. I lost my house. I understand, but I asked you. My daughter is sick and it's so stressful. That I'm a single I parent just I like you. I got money. For her I understand that, ma'am. I'm a single parent just like you. Oh, so without this dog being tears, taken care of, guess what? Me being a single dad, I got to pay for it out of my pocket. Exactly. That's all, that's all I was doing is taking care of my kids. I take care of my kid too. Trust me. I completely yeah. understand. All I asked you to do was take care of that. I just lost my house. What does any of this got to do? Wait, first of all, didn't she say in the beginning, my husband's? Didn't she say that? I know I'm not tripping. Hold on. She's definitely said that. You not giving me your no, insurance? because that's not my car. Well, you know who car it is? My husband. Okay, I knew I won't tripping. So she not a single mom. She just pulled the whole woman crocodile tears thing to try to get off on this. Come on now. I knew I, I... I guarantee you when old boy go back and watch this, he gonna realize that in the beginning she said it was her husband's car. And she's not gonna tell him about the insurance. And then he gonna be like, wait, she just told me she was a single mom. So she tried to pull the whole single mom card, you know, tears, crying, let him walk away. Man, it's crazy out here, man. All right, man. I knew I was right. Let's move on to the next video. I don't know how to say this. Which car are you? She's going to give you the 25 grand of the same I feel like I feel like I want to give up on my sons. Mm. Like. They lazy, they dirty. The one 14 year old, he's rude and disrespectful. The boy told me I need to get a better job and make more money and I need to buy a better house. And I am a single mother of five. These niggas don't Ooh, do shit for my kids. I do everything for my kids. They won't clean, they won't do chores, like they won't walk the dog, they won't do nothing but play the fucking game. And I'm tired of talking, I'm tired of trying to tell them how to be a man because a woman can't teach a man how to be a man and they daddy say shit and there's nobody fault but my own because I knew who the fuck I was fucking, but damn, like, one. He ain't nowhere in his life. And the other one, I was fucking married. And this bitch ass nigga cheated on me and didn't deny my child. Like, what the fuck? Bitch, what I do to you? Oh, wow. I was with this man for eight fucking years. And the bitch ass nigga denied my child. I asked for DNA test. We was married. The court won't give it to us. Like, the other one, I knew him since middle school. I was waiting for two years. And as soon as I told this bitch ass motherfucker I was pregnant after I called him cheating with the white bitch, this nigga just said, fuck it, and dipped. Never spent the fucking day when this child came back and checked on me to see who I was fucking dick got mad at, who I was fucking. Like, that's, like, that's the only fucking time this nigga ever checked on me to see who I was whoa, fucking. Whoa, whoa, slow down. I'm tired because I don't know how to raise them and make them respectable, hard, loving, caring men because I ain't have that example. Like, my daddy's a shit, but I can't teach him how to be like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna end up like they daddies and them drawing so hard not to let them be like them. And I swear to God, I just want to send them to a group home. 
I don't know what to do. I'm gonna beat the ass and then I'm gonna go to jail and then what? Yo. Hey, if this if this mom was sitting right in front of me right now, first of all, I tell her, breathe. Secondly, I tell her, you gotta find some some stable men, some good, some good real men. And get better at picking the men. All right. You know, something she said in here, though, was kind of weird to me. I don't know. Y'all can answer based on the state you live in. In the comments, don't come for me. Uh, she said her husband uh, denied the kids, and the state is denying the DNA test. Uh, but most states, if you are married when the child is born, born, the father doesn't even have to be, the husband doesn't have to be there. They're going to put him on that birth certificate anyway as the father. He still is kind of, like, responsible. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Am I tripping? I, I think that's how it is. Um but the only way to handle this is put real men in their life. She's right on that. Only a man can raise a man. And only a man can handle a 14, 16-year-old going through this. It's like we push. A lot of times I say keep things off the internet, but this one I don't mind because there's so much agenda being pushed to being a single mom. Um, there's a female who who has, she's a millionaire. She, you know, she got you know, forcefully pregnant, right? You know what I'm saying? She went through a donor. She got pregnant. And I was just like, wow, that's kind of crazy. You're bringing another fatherless kid in this world. And um, this is the side they don't show you on the internet, right? A mom losing it because she wanted to see her sons be men, but she don't know how to make it happen. This is the side you don't see, right? Meanwhile, the woman that's pushing, the main woman that are on social media platforms and pushing independent women and single mom, you know, and complaining about men, they're happily married or happily in a relationship, having kids, two parent homes. All right. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think, man. I just think this was crazy. She is crashing out on TV. Y'all let me know what y'all thought. Y'all let me know your thoughts in the comments. She is crashing out straight out on the internet. I even I hate using this term crashing out because I'm a little older. But this, I don't know no other way to explain it. She losing it. All right. Y'all give her some motherly advice. Don't come for this lady in my comments. All right. I just wanted to show y'all what it's like when a mom realizes, you know, a single mom realizes you need a man in a home. Because you do. All right. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'll see y'all next video.